hello everyone uh, welcome back to the jenkins series so in this session uh, we will see how we can configure the github hook to integrate your github repository to your jenkins project that means if i change anything in my code and push those changes to the github repository that should trigger a jenkins job automatically that will uh, run the sanity test case and uh, i will get the result okay there will be some unit level test cases available in my uh, framework uh, have to run automatically when there is any change in the github repository okay so if any test case has failed at that time itself developer will know that uh, something has uh, added in the code that is not working and he he can fix it immediately okay so for that purpose we need to configure a github hook okay so by using this github hook we can integrate your github repository to your jenkins project so for this purpose we need to uh, follow these steps okay one by one so first uh, let's start the aws ec2 instance so i have logged in into my aws account go to ec2 click on instances so currently there are no instances running so you can click on launch instances okay so from here you can select anything okay let it be free tier eligible from this drop down you can select any other configuration if required then from the key pair i will create a new key let's say new key to so with the help of this key we will be able to connect to this ec2 instance so this will create a security group and uh, that's it just click on launch instance so this is the public ipv4 address that we need to use to connect to this aws ec2 so just run sudo am update install jdk install maven now install git so all these things we required for running our framework from the jenkins which is running on the aws ec2 so now let's go and install the jenkins start the jenkins now so first of all add the all tcp rule in the security group so that we can access the jenkins so with the help of your public ipv4 address and port number 8080 you can access the jenkins so this is the by default port where jenkins will start so we need to unlock the jenkins now so copy this location sudo cat so this is the password install suggested plugins let's create the first admin user so this is my jenkins url okay jenkins server url and uh, i have some uh, repositories in my github account so let's say this is my sample github repository that i need to integrate with my jenkins okay so you can create a new repository from here so i have added one uh, text file sample text file so in your actual company you can have your actual code of the application over here okay so what i will do uh, i need to integrate uh, this uh, github repository with the jenkins running at this at this url so i need to add the webhook for this github repository so just go to the settings go to the webhooks okay so currently there are no webhooks added so click on add webhook so in the payload url you need to provide the jenkins server url first then uh, here you need to provide the github dash webhook okay so this is my payload url 
then in the content type select application json uh, keep secret field blank and uh, which events uh, would you like to trigger this webhook okay so for which events you need to trigger the jenkins job so you can select any option from here just the push event send me everything or let me select individual events okay so from this option you can select uh, different options as per your requirement okay so by default it will select the push to the github repository select that push and click on add webhook okay so make sure this uh, checkbox for this active is selected okay we need to active this webhook okay we need to add the webhook and that webhook should be active okay so you can see here uh, the hook was successfully created so if you click on that so from here you can update the webhook as well if you want right you can select any other option if you want and from the recent deliveries you can uh, see uh, it has sent the ping that means uh, this webhook is successfully created and our uh, jenkins and github are now integrated with each other from here you can see the details of the request okay headers payload everything from here and in the response that is 200 okay that means if we change anything in this uh, repository now it will trigger the jenkins job okay so now we just need to create one jenkins job that will uh, detect the changes from the github repository and start the build so click on new item i will create may one let's say or i will create project one select freestyle project so you need to uh, detect the changes from the github repository right so you need to select git in the source code management and provide the repository url here so this is my repository url okay and uh, in the branch provide the correct branch name so if you see in my github repository i do not have the master branch it is main branch okay so this should be correct main branch and uh, scroll down in the build triggered section you need to select this checkbox github hook triggered for git scm polling okay that means if anyone uh, do some changes in the main branch available in this github repository then this jenkins job project one will be triggered automatically okay so build will be triggered automatically so click on apply and save okay so let's verify our changes now our uh, project one is integrated with the github repository jenkins github integration so i will do some changes in this text file so click on edit and uh, from here i will do some changes let's say changes for webhook okay okay so here updated file and commit the changes okay so there are some changes i have committed in this branch main branch in the github repository so as per our webhook for any uh, push event it uh, it will send the request to the jenkins okay so that we can verify from settings then go to the webhook and uh, click on this and from the recent deliveries you can first verify whether request has sent or not so here you can see at this time the push request okay this request has been sent and we got the response as 200 as well okay so all these requests and all these things are available in the json format so let's go to the jenkin now and it is not showing any build okay so within a few seconds you can see the first build has started automatically and it is completed so here you can see started by the github push by edge automation okay so you'll be able to see the username the person who has changed uh, something in the github repository okay so that username and this is my workspace url where it will uh, fetch the project first and all the files will be kept in this workspace location so you can uh, try to uh, run any actual maven project from the github okay available in your github repository create one jenkins job and do some changes in that maven project and that should trigger the jenkins job automatically okay so maybe uh, that also i can show you quickly so let's say i have this uh, maven project pass parameters runtime via maven okay so this is my maven project in available in my github repository 
so let us add one webhook for this github repository as well so again payload url the same jenkins url content type json and add webhook so again i will go here uh, let us create a new project i will again select the freestyle project only so you can download the maven integration plugin and create the maven project so again from the git section i will add the url okay so in this repository i have the master branch right i have master branch so select this option okay and in the build step as it is a maven project i will run the maven command from here so let's say maven mvn test okay so these two parameters i am sending at the runtime to our uh, uh, test cases okay so click on apply and save so let's go and do some changes so you can change anything so in the test i will do some changes let's say in the login test i will just add one comment let's say these are new changes okay so i updated this login test dot java file commit changes okay so this action should trigger this maven one project automatically so after a few seconds you can see this first build has started automatically so it is downloading some jar files and some plugins as it is a maven project and we are building it for the first time but you can see here this is started by the github push by edge automation so as per uh, that maven project it has run our uh, login test so that will only show you whatever username and password that you have sent while running the maven project so guys uh, this is how you can integrate your jenkins and github repository by using the webhook concept